Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back talking about a smartphone once again that's gonna redefine the budget flagship arena. Now, we reviewed the Poco F1 about a year plus ago, and that phone really took the industry by storm. It came in around 300 US dollars. It had flagship level specs, but would you compare it to Samsung's and Huawei's and iPhone's? Not necessarily, it was lacking in some areas, but overall for the price point, it was one great value. Anyway, Xiaomi's back with the second variant of the Poco series, and I've got with me the Poco F2 Pro. Anyway, here are the five things I like about this phone. Okay, so we wanted a quiet atmosphere for this afternoon, but unfortunately, we've got a free band in the background. So they're gonna be our background music, apologies. It is what it is when we shoot out in the field. Anyway, let's talk about some of the uh, specs inside this phone really quickly before we get into the five things I like. It is a Snapdragon 865 phone, so you get the flagship chipset inside this uh, device. 6.67 inch AMOLED display, it's an HD display, 395 PPI, three pixel peepers out there. You've got a 64 megapixel camera on the back of it, of course it is, it's multi-cam, but it is a you know pixel bending, it's not a true 64 megapixel camera, but it takes really good photos. We'll talk about that in just a bit. You've got a 4,000 plus milliamp battery in this. I think it's around 4,700 milliamp battery. Fantastic as well. And yeah, 5G, 5G phone for this price point. Anyway, let's talk about the first thing I like about it and that is the build quality. Like the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, when I took it out of the box, that was the first thing I was. Wow, this feels really good and the Poco F2 feels just as good at a much lower price point. Xiaomi is doing some really good things with the build quality out of this. And one thing I like about this in particular, it doesn't have that curved display, it's flat. I like that because you have more usable real estate on the display versus the curved edges. Personal preference, I like flat, other people like curved, but nonetheless, it is a really good build quality. And the color is fantastic as well. I've got this uh, plastic case on it, but let me take that off uh, just to kind of show you the color of it. Um, it's this gray color, but it's got this matte finish, this gradient finish to it. So it's not really, you will see some fingerprints on it, but it looks really good. I have to say, I love the design of this phone. Really, really nice. Another thing I like about it is the display. Now this is a 6.67 inch AMOLED display. It's not some quad HD display, but to be honest with you, unless you put it next to a phone like that, you're never gonna notice the difference. And the nice thing about it is that it is bezel-less. Reason being is, as you can see right there, the camera pops up. Pop up camera, pop up camera, pop up. There we go, opens up like that. And it's relatively fast. Not right there it wasn't, but usually it is. So I really like the display on it, plus it's a flat display. And flat displays, I prefer them. I don't like that curved display because usually I get those false presses. I didn't get that with the Mi 10 Pro, but I have gotten it with other phones out there. But I just like it because I have more usable screen real estate with a flat surface. Okay. Third thing I like about this is the processing and speed of the phone. It's a Snapdragon A65. This thing is blazing fast. No issues at all with it whatsoever. Um, highly recommended. I mean, again, it's a flagship specs and a more budget-friendly phone. Next is cameras. I really like the camera system on the back of this phone. Now, you've got four cameras. You've got your depth sensing camera, you've got your 64 megapixel camera, your ultra wide, and your telephoto. And the 64 megapixel camera does a relatively decent job. Now, again, it's not a true 64 megapixel camera. It's pixel binning, but the image quality is really good. Is it flagship level? Not quite, but you put this up on Instagram or Facebook, no one's gonna notice the difference. Also, you have 8K video recording in this as well. Hey everyone, what's going on? Here is a video test 8K in my studio to hear the microphone, the video quality, to see what it looks like, the autofocusing and so forth like that. Not too bad, pretty impressive. And that video is really good quality 8K video for a smartphone. I've uh, done some tests with it. I did it on the Mi 10 Pro. It's the same quality that's in the Mi 10 Pro. I'm getting it in this phone as well. So no issues at all with the cameras. I actually really, really like them. Next is battery life. 4,700 milliamp battery in this. That means you're gonna get a full day, day and a half usage. No issues at all with this. Now, if you're a heavy gamer, it might be a little bit less. But if you're just using day-to-day -day tasks and WhatsApp and editing photos and taking pictures and watching YouTube videos, 
you're gonna be more than happy with this phone. And last, and I think I went over five. Did I go over five? I have no idea. This is a 5G capable phone at under a thousand US dollars. Actually, it's around 500 US dollars thereabouts. And depending on your carrier and depending on where you buy it, it might be even cheaper right now. That's impressive. Flagship level specs, 5G enabled for if it's in your market or not. Um, great camera system, fantastic build quality. At a price point a lot of people can afford, especially if you're buying this on contract or on a plan, or even an outright. It's not gonna break the bank and you've got a very solid Android phone. So hats off to Xiaomi once again for coming back with another variant of the Poco series and knocking it out of the park. I really like what they've done with it. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Poco F2 Pro. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, be safe out there, and I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.